We're back. It's the 1st of Feb, 2022, the last day of the shooting season. And we are about to start doing some more videos, hopefully, fingers crossed. Hello. We've been away for quite a while because I've had another little pup, little Killian. He's seven months old today. Um, and I've been, I've gone self-employed, so I've been working all hours every day. I've not had barely any time to spend with the dogs. So training with the dogs pretty much stopped at the last times I did a few uh, series of videos. My wife's been home with the dogs. She's gone back to work today. My wife, although agrees with me, doesn't share the same views with the dogs. Um, and so they've been allowed to run free in the house, well, in this room, pretty much all of the time, which I wouldn't like. Um, so by doing that, a bit of the work that I put into the dogs has been just let let go, and um, with them being allowed to do what they want, they're not as uh, well behaved as they were before, and they've been permitted to not need to be as well behaved. So we're going to work on that. Um, what I want to try and do is uh, get the get fern ready or sort of nearly ready for beating next year. So we've got from now, 1st of February till October to put some things in place for her. Um, I took Dolly on her first shoot the other day just to see what the crack was is with that shoot and what's sort of expected of her, what the other dogs, what standard the other dogs are up to and sort of what's required so that I know and I can work on that now over the next few months. Dolly was absolutely fantastic. I was really, really pleased with her. And so now we've got to try and get that into fern now. What is it, eight months? Isn't really a great deal of time to, to do that. But we're gonna have, have a go. We're gonna do it by working just two or three minutes at a time, not an hour at a time. So things that we're gonna need to work on is we're gonna need the dog to work, to walk nice and calmly at my side, on a lead, off a lead. If I allow her to run free, she still needs to be with me. I, I need constant contact with her. I need her recall to be absolutely fantastic. No matter what distractions are there, if I ask her to come to me, she should come to me. I'm gonna to have to teach her how to stop on a whistle so that if she's running around doing whatever she may be doing, then, and I blow the whistle, she's gonna to have to stop, look at me and, and then get further instructions. She's gonna to have to learn how to quarter, so run zigzags and, and sniff and detect gain. Uh, she's going to have to learn what else is she going to have to learn. Things like um, jumping over fences, waiting at fences, waiting at gateways. She's going to have to learn how to be well behaved and have good etiquette around other working dogs and people. She's going to need to learn to, for me to be able to handle her. Uh, we might work on some retrieving so that if we need her to pick anything up, uh, she's able to, although that's uh, probably a big ask as well as doing all the other work. Um, one quite big thing for me is she's going to have to learn, there's a lot of standing around at shoots, especially for beaters, so she's going to have to learn to be comfortable just sitting around like she is now, whilst I stand around and other people stand around and just be well behaved in that time. She's going to have to learn a lot of patience and to do that, we're going to also work on her obedience and, and the basic skills and get her really, really brushed up on them because uh, she's 20 months old now, I think it is. She's going to have quite a bit of a shock because she's going to go from being allowed to run free and do whatever she wanted and I haven't been really that um, hot on her doing things to me teaching her a lot of things and having higher expectations of her now. Uh, it's going to be like going from nursery school straight into high school. Um, so we're going to hopefully film all of that, all those processes and explain them and show them and you can go through them step by step and either follow them, copy them, adapt them, whatever suits you. And hopefully come October we'll have uh, two little doggies that will really enjoy the job and really be good at it. So we'll Film another, we'll film the first video in a minute uh, and then we'll 
hopefully try and get some regular videos done. And we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching me and Fern. Please give us a subscribe, a like, a share, and comment below with anything you've got for us.